Hello everyone! Okay, so I just want to record this video to give you an idea of one of the least favorite aspects of my job. That is putting on makeup. Usually when I'm in the studio, somebody else does it for me. But when I'm out live, I have to do it on my own. I don't like it. But I guess instead of having my ugly mug on TV, it's probably better to try to at least dress it up a little bit, right? So here's a look at what I actually do. So I believe me, I when I was in the US, I only did one thing, and that's like getting rid of some of my shiny forehead. That's just about it. But apparently here we need to make it all pretty. And so first I start off with water and and a uh, little cloth here. You ladies are going. Stop complaining. We do this. For, uh, some of you may be going like we do this quite often. There's no need for you to be complaining about this. I know. I know. I'm not complaining. I'm just. This is just what I do, right? Uh, so first I, you know, clean off the surface a little bit. There, a little bit. And all you guys are laughing right now. Just be quiet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so I do all this cleaning and stuff. Make sure you shave and all that kind of stuff. This thing does not want to stay together. I guess. So we do this little cleaning thingy, okay. And once that's done, I have a couple of foundations here. Uh, I guess here's one, here's another one. The different colors. I'm a little bit more darker tanner, so I usually use this color here. So I open it up, dab a little, I'm going to look up a little bit, I have to look, actually look at the mirror when I'm doing this, right? So I'm going to put this on different areas, get rid of some of the splotch that I have on my face. Um, it's a good way to tell what part of your face is it as smooth as the other. So I put this on so that it evens up my face and clears it out. Yeah, righty. How do I look? I look like a monster with pink on my face. I draw my nose a little bit. All out. And then I have this sponge here that I use to help even it out all over my face. Oh, by the way, this does not belong to me. All of this stuff belongs to the makeup department, so I don't own any television makeup of my own. So I guess I do this little doohickey. I think it's right. Just like spread it around a little bit, even it out a little bit. So getting it all cleaned up over my eye, this is all of my eyes and underneath and everything, getting it all out on my nose. By the way, my uh the lady colleagues of the weather department like to tease me about this makeup thing all the time because they're like can we add a little bit of like lipstick on you and put it on your cheeks and all that kind of stuff? I'm going, you're kidding, right? Like, no, I don't want all that on me. It doesn't make me look any better anyway, right? So yeah, so even it all out so that I don't look too bright on here. There we go. A pop there and around and then. That's what it looks like after you do it. And I think I'm missing a couple of spots. One over there. One over there. Right over the nose and around. And this side as well. Cause I've got a spot. There, there. I think this is it. I think these are areas that I should be covering. Because they're a little bit less even. And that's 
just to like get under my eyes correctly. Right there. Yeah, right under this side as well. Thank goodness I already find this. If you're still watching, um keep find new hobby. <laughs> this is this is uh this is not that interesting, I hope. A little under here, under here, a little over the eyelid as well. Yeah. Under that and then even this out. Over there. Okay. I should cover it off. Okay, so so you put this thing on. I think this is called foundation. <clears throat> That's what I was told. This was more liquidy. It's not really that powdery. I've seen some other folks in the industry using that powdery type stuff. So that takes care of that. And then my face is still a bit shiny. So once I tried to perfect what what little I can try on my face since it's there's not much you can do to really help it out it's beyond help but then powder so I'm gonna open this up and uh, help reduce all the shininess uh, my my skin tends to be a little bit shinier than uh, most I'll take this time healthy skin try to Got enough little powder there. And then all over my cheek, that's fantastic. Um, that's too much. Woo! I'm really trying to powder my. I'm powdering my. my. Uh, my pants more than I am powdering my face. Top side and oh what my not about there I gotta clean that out a little bit. Yeah. I think I got everything. Top back around down below. I think that's it. Remember, this is one of only two times in my life that I've had to go through this entire makeup process. I've done the whole, I've done this powder thing before. For those of you who are watching me on EBC Columbia, I did use a little bit of this type of thing before. But the whole, um, the whole, uh, let's put the foundation on, all that kind of stuff. I'm no expert in that. And now I have it all over me. This is uh, this is not good. I hope it... my suit won't be as shiny. How's that? <laughs> Dang, I got it all over my tie too. Oh, man, go away. All right. So I think I think I'm done. I got my hair done. And... So that's. A nine and a half minute process in putting on my makeup. That's the least favorite part of my job uh, because I really, you know, don't care. But it is something that's necessary for television, especially with this high definition age where you can see more and more details. And so, if you're still here, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Hope you have a good day wherever you are.